Okay. Um, so as you can see here, I've got Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit with a uh, Neo 2 uh, L625 with a... I got the switchable graphics with the Radeon 4330. I've got... I just got a 3 gig... Uh, 3 gigs of RAM and 250 gig hard drive and the 13.3 uh, the inch um, LED screen that's actually 1366 by 768 instead of 1280 by 800. I don't know why they have that messed up, but it's messed up. Um, it's got a webcam with wireless N and Bluetooth and uh, I ordered an extra, an extra 6 cell and um, the normal 6 cell is supposed to last for 6 hours. Um, I hear that if you use Wi-Fi and have the brightness up, it'll only last for about four and a half. Um, but I hear if you turn the brightness way down, it'll last for maybe five if you got Wi Fi on. But if you um, turn off the Wi Fi, turn off Bluetooth, and turn the brightness down, you might even get six hours if you're just taking notes in class, that kind of thing. Um, so, anyway, that's the specs on this, this laptop here. All right, let's. Uh, I went ahead and opened, already opened it, but everything's packed exactly as it was packed when it came. Um, so here's the HP start here guide. Um, looks like they just got instructions on putting the battery in and uh, plugging it into the power. Uh, plugging the power in. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and pull out the laptop here. Okay. Put those back in there. Here it is laptop. Wow. I mean, it's just, it looks so gorgeous. It looks, in my opinion, a lot cleaner and better looking than a, even a MacBook Pro. Like, the brushed aluminum is, uh, in my opinion, a lot more beautiful when it's when it's got the shine like it does. Um, so I just took off the plastic covering over the top. And then this thing is extremely, extremely thin and lightweight. Um, though I mean part of it is it's got the battery out right now because it doesn't come with the battery in it. So let's go ahead and pull this, this, uh, the box, let's set that aside for now and see what's in the box here. Okay, so what all does this bad boy come with? Looks like we got the, uh, the power cable and here's the power adapter. Alright, and up oh, here's the, um, looks like a little dealio with, tip, the typical dealio with, uh, looks like some, some note card paper, and looks like got, just got some, a little, some ad inserts, probably for some other HP products, printing products, um, notebook essentials, it looks like. Um, just got typical basic information on how to run a notebook in there. Um, nothing really that special. Um, alright. So that's that. Here's the battery. Alright, let me go ahead and put that in. You guys can see how to put it in. You, uh, looks like you need to seat the battery in the back first and push it down. Did you guys get to see that? Let me redo it just in case you didn't see that on the screen. It's hard doing this all one-handed. You know what I mean? Bear with me. Okay, so first you seat it in the back and it snaps in. Okay, it's still, this laptop is still very thin and light even with that in there. And uh, here's my extra battery, which will come in very handy when I'm trying to, uh, I mean, typically I'm not going to use more than four and a half hours of battery, but uh, when I do, I will have the option of, of uh, using this guy, too. Um, so let me go ahead and plug it in and fire her up. And uh, let me go ahead and open this real quick, too, let you guys see what it looks like on the inside and again the brushed aluminum continues to the inside here um, and this laptop just looks gorgeous it really does, it looks really good um, 
Love the keyboard. The keyboard's really nice, too. Okay. Uh, the only thing I would say that I don't uh, like about the keyboard is that there's no dedicated home and end and up and down. And plus, the arrow keys are kind of funky, funky shaped, with the uh, the two left and rights being bigger than the middle. But uh, it's okay. I think it still looks all right. Um, and if you'll notice on the keyboard, we've got the uh, escape, and then we've got the function keys for volume and play, pause, all of that. All of those are along the top up here, and so there are no more. There are no dedicated media keys except for these, and I believe you can set it whether or not you want the F, F8, C, if you want the F8 key to be volume, or if you want it to be the F8 key normally, and in order to reach the other function, you have to hit FN, and then F8, in order to actually achieve the other function of the button. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up, I think, yep, you just pull that guy to turn it on. One of the great things about this computer is that I've got switchable graphics on it, uh, which means that I've got a dedicated, uh, dedicated graphics processor and an integrated graphics processor. That means that I can switch to integrated if I want to have long battery life, or I can switch to the dedicated if I want to have strong performance. Um,